well, my life is over. My life is gosh dang finished this time. I've already packed my bags and I'm already getting ready to just, you know, hop on a train and ride the rails. Gonna head north and find some work, maybe grow a beard. I'll just become a simple farmhand, you know? None of this complicated technology to screw up my life anymore. Just gonna go back to the the Amish days, uh, M Night Shyamalan style. Uh, the village, dress up like a like a pig monster and hide in the woods and I don't know, just have a bunch of split personalities and uh, kidnap some girls, I guess. Whatever it takes. Uh, do it the Shyamalan way this time. Uh, you know, they say you only live once. Well, in the Shyamalan world, there's always a twist. And the twist is that I get a second chance at life. Or maybe uh, maybe I should just go to the Netflix route. Start making 13 tapes. Uh, hello, BG Cumbie here. Welcome to your tape. I blame institutional racism, uh, mostly. But yeah, judging by the title of this video, uh, I'm sure you all know what's happened already. Uh, you're probably not surprised knowing me, uh, knowing my history, uh, knowing the sorts of shenanigans that I get into on this uh, channel. But we have a lot of fun here on my channel. Uh, I've always been open with my fans, you know. I've always been about free love, uh, having a swinging lifestyle. Um, sometimes I hook up with my fans, you know. Sometimes I meet girls. Sometimes, you know, someone slides into my DMs. A lot of people slide into my DMs, actually. Girls, guys, um... You never know, it, it might get mixed up, and a guy could slip in there somewhere. Simple mistake, you know. You end up, you know, with a guy, and it's a simple mistake. Um, I've had a lot of scandals in the past, so to say, but this one, this one truly, truly takes the cake. Remember that time I suggestively sucked on a popsicle for the popsicle challenge and got kicked out of uh, my family for a whole week? Or that time I ate all the Pringles and then got grounded from my own body and had to float around my house in my spirit form for a whole month? I did something much worse this time. So, my mom was cleaning my room and... She went on my computer back home, you know, and just started snooping through my files, and I think you all know where I'm going with this. She found, I don't even want to, I don't even want to say, well, first she found the two girls one cup video that I watched for a reaction video a while back. It's like a, a gay gay lesbian video, but I swear to God, God is my witness right now, I swear I only watch that video for the poop, not for the gay part. Then one guy, one jar, I, I had that video saved too, but I only watched it for the humor, I swear. Two guys, one horse, uh, well... The horse makes love to a makes love to a man while another man films and that's called a Canadian handshake in some parts of the world but I swear to god I only saved all of these gay videos to react to them for YouTube okay now Boku no Pico well that one uh I just thought it had a really really solid story 
Uh, I was invested in the character arcs. Nothing weird, you know, plus all those shirtless pictures of Ricky Martin I had. Um, they were just for uh, workout motivation, you know. The point is, is now my family, every single one of them thinks I'm some kind of sick degenerate. So I guess I'm going to have to become a liberal now. Going to have to go and live my life in a commune somewhere, smoking ganja all day, get on the welfare, gonna have to start smacking people in the head with uh, bike locks and getting doxxed on 4chan, gonna have to burn down businesses and loot and riot and do that whenever Trump says something offensive on Twitter. Either that or get Shockmaster Mike Pence to zap me back to normal. Yep. Honestly, this is pretty much the worst day of my life. Um, and I mean, I've had a lot of bad days. So, you know, just stay tuned, people. Because it's probably just going to get worse from here. It always does. This has been BG Cumby. Got caught red-handed. Signing off. Goodbye.